Welcome back to the Graham Miller Show. I'm Sam Murray, joined with Stevenson men's soccer head coach Graham Miller. And coach, open conference play last week, home versus Albright, and then a uh, short turnaround, travel to 11th ranked Johns Hopkins. Talk about those two games last week. Yes, yeah, Sam. It was, uh, you know, interesting uh, start to conference play. You know, Albright, um, you know, a game that we were, you know, excited about and going into and, and, and you know, hoping to get that win, especially at home, um, to start off conference play. And, uh, you know, it just didn't go for us. You know, we, we once again dominated possession, uh, once again dominated every statistical count except for the one that matters, uh, which was the, the two goals they scored and the, our failure again to put the ball in the back of the net. So, um, you know, a lot of pleasing things. I think uh, last year, uh, when they had beat Albright, they only had seven shots. Um, this year, we we over we doubled that, um, and uh, but we just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. So it's been something we've talked about on this show, you know, prior weeks. Um, we have to find ways to get you know somebody to put that ball in the back of the net, and it's not like because we're not creating chances. Um, we created some really good chances against Albright, but we just need to be more clinical in the box. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of positives. We're doing a lot of good things. Uh, we're definitely playing better than last year. We're doing better things than last year. The results maybe not show that. Um, but, you know, to quote the, uh, you know, the, the team in Philadelphia, you know, we've got to trust the process. You know, I don't know, Joe, you'll appreciate that one. Um, being a Philly, Philly, Philadelphia fan, I should say. So, you know, we've got we've got a lot of things going well for us. You know, it's it, you know the guys are staying positive. They are working hard. Um, you know, it's definitely a tough one. But we've got seven conference games left. Um, so, like we told the guys, we have to win four of them. You know, you always have to you know win four to have a shot to be in the playoffs. So, are we done yet? No. Uh, we still have, uh, you know, seven games left. And, you know, my plan has all been a all along for this team is we got to keep building, keep getting better every day. And I think we are getting better. Um, you know, last night against Hopkins, 11th ranked team in the country, very good team. And I'm not, you know, going to complain about scheduling um, because this was the schedule I inherited. And, um, you know, to play a Johns Hopkins team that's number 11 in the country and undefeated on a Monday night, um, they were really good. You know, that's the level that we want to get to. Um, but for 56 minutes of the game last night, we held them. Uh, Tarek Lee had a great shot in the first half. If he'd put that away, it may have been different. And uh, then we had the free kick, 30 seconds uh, before they scored their first goal where we hit the post. That goes in, also a little bit different game. So, you know, we were there. We had chances. We had a bad nine-minute spell, and they took advantage, and that's what good teams do. So we, had, we took a lot of positives from last night, and, you know, we'll, we'll build off these two games. And you say building off those games, you take a game like a Johns Hopkins where you did, you know, stay with them for 56 minutes. Do you take that as a positive going into uh, where you have almost a, l a full week off going into your next conference game at home versus Widener? Yeah, and that was that's the best team we've faced this season so far. You know, Johns Hopkins was definitely a team that you're going to see a lot of down the line um, with the NCAA tournament, I think, and, and everything else. They were a very good team and very technical, and I'll be interested to see how they do with Messiah on Thursday. And uh, it'll give us a you know a look for ahead because we've got obviously two other teams on our schedule that are nationally ranked, Messiah and Lycoming. So it's going to be um, similar. So last night we can take the positive from them that we did hold them for that long, and uh, we did create a couple of chances and you know if we weren't having this seven game streak without a goal maybe they, they both go in and we're, we're two nothing up and then it changes a, a little bit so uh, we're going to keep doing keep working with the guys and keep being positive and and yeah now we can build off this game last night and uh, get ready for Widener Saturday. Well we're excited to have you back home and wish you the best of luck in that game. For Graham Miller I'm Sam Murray and you're watching the Graham Miller Show.